Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Is it? Yeah. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, we the Jim Mets Memphis Scout. Come in week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, aka Melba. And before we get prophesied, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by the Sheriff, Yahweh shot by the Sheriff of Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach them well and peace and love to the elect. And the Hebrew Israelites consist of the so called Negroes, Blacks, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And wherever Israel has been scattered to across the four winds of the earth, whose spirit goes back to an Israelite. We, the Most High Chosen people, and the Lord come back to save his elect of the nation of Israel, man. 144,000 and the one third. And the two thirds, then we ain't gonna be cut off and die here in Babylon the Great America, man. You know? So, Lord willing, gonna get to it, Lord willing, just listen. Be edifying to the next. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What's the book of the Lord? This Bible. You know? Go ahead. And they say, read. You know? Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. Wait, not one of these shall fail. Going to what? The prophecy, man. And guess what? Prophecy is speaking. Whole half of uh, the, the second chapter two on that, man. Cause that's what we, uh, that's what time we in now, man. Prophecy, man. It's all about prophecy. Go ahead. None shall want her mate, uh -huh. for my mouth it had commanded, in his spirit he had gathered them. Right. Hey, wait, 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 Verse 10, uh -huh. and I fell at his feet to worship him. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, see thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, yep. and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right, he has the testimony of Yahweh Shai, so the angels are our brethren. So the angel will tell our judge, don't bow down and worship me. Worship Yahweh Shai instead. You know, go ahead. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right, so the testimony of our Lord and Savior is what? The spirit of prophecy. So you're not coming in, in prophecy, what are you coming with, man? You know, you're coming out of your own your own mouth. But we ought to speak what written in this book. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Oh, thou afflict! Hold on. Isaiah 55. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And what's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets. Lord, where do we get into that? Go ahead. It shall not return unto me, boy. Right. So the words of the Lord not going to turn back unto him, boy, man. Go ahead. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where two are sent. Right, so we're gonna accomplish. He's gonna make a full end of it. He's gonna make good on his word, man. So we ought to teach the words of Yahweh Shah. Go to prophecy. Go ahead. This is gonna make it happen. Start at one. Yeah, start at one. This is Habakkuk chapter two, verse one. Uh-huh. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Yeah. And I will watch to see. What he would say unto me. Yep. And, and we are commanded to stand upon our watch. If you're not watching, what are you doing? You idle, man. You see? And the Lord will come up, uh, upon you as a thief in the night, man. Go ahead. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Uh huh. And the Lord answer me and say, Write the vision and make it plain upon table. Wait, write the vision and make it plain upon table. The vision going to what? Prophecy. I think in the Hebrew, a car. Casa one, if I'm not mistaken, in the Hebrew, but it basically goes to uh, the oracles, the prophecy, the words of this Bible, man. And it said, make it plain upon table, you know. Yeah, but something like that. Go ahead. That he may run, that read of it. That it may be plain to them, man. Cause what's speaking out? The RFID microchip, which is the um, Revelation 13 and 16, the uh, Kawakma, the food shortages, which is what famine. You see pestilence. The 19 Divac, you know, the uh, the monkey nuts, and more pestilence, man. 
So we have to make a plan upon a table, man. Go ahead. Verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon a table that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for a point in time. But the vision is yet for a point of time. The prophecy is for a, a point of time. You know? You get saying there's this point that says, go ahead. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. We did uh, NLT for me too, Baba Kasha. Because at the end, it's just speaking that lot. Before you get that good post, Peter 4 and 7 real quick. That's what we did in NLT. This is Habakkuk chapter 2. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3 in the NLT. The vision is for a future time. The vision is for a future time. We in the future now, right? Alright, go ahead. It describes the end. It describes the end. So these prophecies describing the end. And remember, we read this in the KJV. The end is speaking a lot. So we're describing the end. Knowing this in the last days, till this time should come. Are we not in these times? Are we not in the evil times now? You know? Up wars of the people, wars and wars and wars. So it's describing the end now. These prophecies describing the end now. Look at the mindset of these people, man. They bug out. You know, to the fullest. Go ahead. And it will be fulfilled. And it's going to be fulfilled because why should not return to him for? Right. You know, now she want her mate. Go ahead. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. For it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Well, it will not be delayed. It's going to take place. It's going to happen in, in your lifetime, man. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. We can get you first. This is First Peter's. Chapter 4 and verse 17. 7, 7. First Peter 4 and 7. All right, come on. This is First Peter 4 and 7. And it reads, But the end of all things is at hand. Right, but the end of all things is at hand. Remember, at the end is just speaking that lot. So we at the end of this. We're speaking prophecy. You know? So, all right, so read again. This is First Peter 4 and 7. But the end of all things is at hand. It's near. We at the end, man. Go ahead. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Be sober and watch unto prayer. Do that mean you just you know stop drinking wine? Woo -woo -woo. No, man, you stay on prayer and watch. You measure the time diligently in itself. You know, you watch it, man. You see? Go ahead. Uh, this is First Peter 4 and 7 in NLT. The end of the world is coming soon. Wait, right, read that again. Read it loud too. Uh. This is First Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. The end of the world is coming soon. We got a lot of people saying, they be saying, talking about the end of the world since, you know, since I was a child. But guess what? Prophecy wasn't speaking like this since you was a child, man. Since, since the, uh, the late uh, 50s, the, the late the 80s, the, you know, the 2000s. Man, no, man. Prophecy is speaking now, man. Right. You know, he's so constantly uh, increasing his technology, his AI, AI systems. You know, we've seen the food shortages, man. You know? You know, talk about uh, uh, the Great Depression. Yeah. Hey, we come to that again. Great Depression 2.0. The building on the downfall. It's on the decline, man. The uh, stock market crashes. You know, constantly crashing. Crypto <laughs> crashing. The more things crashing, man. You know? So the keepers of the house, they trembling. They said the Bible. And that's prophecy. This is First Peter 4 and 7 in the NLT. The end of the world is coming soon. Who word is this uh, talking about? Esau word. Yeah. This is the uh, uh, second half of 69. Go to grab that real quick too. You know? This is Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Right, so the end of the world coming soon. So Esau is the end of the world. Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed right, Who is Jacob? Israel, man. Right. Yashala. So once this society, this age, um, be destroyed, we up next. Yahweh's kingdom, his, his kingdom is up next. The kingdom of heaven, which is on earth. We know it's saying Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, the earth and body forever. So this talking about a, a particular rulership, man. So the end of the world is coming soon, man. 
Lord say declare the end for the beginning. <laughs> for the whole day, Isaiah 4, 6, 10. You know? This is 1 Peter 4, 4, chapter 4 in the NLT, verse 7, finishing now. The, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayer. Be honest. They say honest. Yep. Honest. Earnest. Earnest. Honest. Be yeah, earnest. Look that up too. Yes, and sincere. Say, be, uh, sincere. Yeah, yeah it means there you sincere. Go. sincere. Yeah. You know? The mind, be sincere. You see? Be disciplined, man. What can keep you, what can keep you disciplined? Walk in the spirit. You know? It say in your prayer. Because we ought to pray every day. They yeah. say pray without ceasing. Yeah. Yeah. When you go into earnest in the etymology, it means serious or grave in speech or Wait. action. Mm. Action. You know, yeah. you got to walk it like you're talking. Yeah. When they say, uh, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be sincere, man. You can't be double-minded, man. You got to be constantly praying. Yeah. Asking the Lord, hey, Bubba Kusha, please deliver me, man. Please keep me safe and sound in no evil times, man. They say knowledge and wisdom should be the uh, stability of that time. Yeah. And they say gold. And they say because you can bounce a basketball or, or you can <laughs> box real good or what the what. It said knowledge and wisdom, man. I and the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. So this curse, this this word is not wisdom at all, man. You get a bachelor degree, you know? That's not wisdom, man. The true wisdom is was contained in the, in, in these scriptures, man. You know? You had some uh, for me? Yeah, yeah, what you call for the for, uh, Isaiah 46. Go ahead. Okay, this is Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. Right, and this is the heavenly father. The Lord already declared the end. He said, better to go, better, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of the world, man. Right. Just like when Jake about to get his ass whooped, you got a, a whole, you got siblings. Yeah. Hey, Jake, like, I go first. <laughs> get it over. You know, cause, <laughs> hey, your mama, hey, she, 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 um, uh, you know, yeah, she ain't on good. fire yet. Yeah, 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 she yeah, just yeah. getting started. Yeah. Like coaches, like when I, you know, not get talk when I, you know, play football, basketball. Every uh -huh. uh, did you get, you get a uh, paddle. Elf, you two on uh, two paddles. Yeah. You know, we got a whole line. Yeah. <laughs> Every last one of us said, I go first. Cause when he get get their arm loose, it's over with. Yeah. So bears the end of a thing, man. And Lord said he declared the end for the beginning. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, finish. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, what, saying, go what, ahead. what things are not yet done? <laughs> Come on. The Lord destroyed this place, Babylon and Greek. You see, so we living at the end, man. But Jake mindset don't want, want let, allow them to comprehend that, man. You know, Jake stuck in darkness, man. They said, through uh, deceit, they refuse to know me. Said the Lord, man. Go ahead. Saying, my counsel, counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. Right, he said, my counsel sustained. I will do all my pleasure. What's the counsel of the Lord? What, what, is it, what is plan? To destroy this place, man. Uh -huh. He said he's angry with the wicked every day. You see? Mm -hmm. For the words of the most high, but not with tongues to report, man. Every prophecy should be put on fulfilled. Now show right. her mate. The right. Lord not a man, he should lie. You see? Yeah. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right, perilous times go to dangerous times, man. I mean, that's the time we're coming into, dangerous times, man. See, it's all good now. I mean, yeah, you complaining about gas. You still can pay for gas, though. You complaining about food going up. Guess what? You still can pay for food. What are you going to do with it where you can't pay for gas? Or you can't buy, buy for food? You can't pay for water. That's the time we coming into, man. Don't want to be the dangerous times, man. With a mansion one on uh, home invasion. No. Yep. I'm taking that to 15. We're going to get that on deck, too, man. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 2. For men should be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Disobedient to um, parents. Look at these GMO babies, man. You can't tell me we ain't, we ain't the end of this. This ain't the last days. Look at these, these GMO babies, man. These monsters. You know? Man. They totally disobedient to parents, man. They don't respect their parents. You know? You want to make a point? Hey, I was just finna say, man. Hey, when was it ever cool for your parents to be your friend? You know what I'm saying? I didn't let you know how deep and wicked 
wickedness have kind of just spread it on the earth, man. Our people are real cold hearted, man. Yeah. All right, you got kids killing their parents. You got uh, a kid, man, he kicked his mama window when she told him to come in the house. Right, and all she just said was come in the house, man. But guess what? The Lord said, hey, if you disrespect your parents, your day is going to be short, man. Mm -hmm. yep. That means your life supply going to cut out. True. Yep. Uh, what's that? Uh, disobedient child live half a day, man. Mm -hmm. What's the point of having kids in this society, man? Hey, Esau, women, should, ooh, ooh, women should bring forth monstrous children. Wait, because Esau, he, he, Esau train your kids, man. Yeah. Esau discipline your ch kids, man. I guess so what 16 chapters. Oh, oh, oh. That's the spirit we were just talking about this, man. Yeah. What's the point of having kids in this society, man? They're full of darkness and wickedness, man. He's still making it mandatory to have drag queens in school. Uh, in, in schools. Man, man. What's the point of having kids in this society? You can't even take care of them. Your kids got to get You know? What's, uh, what's, the, what's the nigga, Young Thug, he made a point. To have kids, you got to have money. Yeah. We don't got no fucking money, man. The dollar crashing right now is with speak, man. Root. Go ahead, you got six. Yeah, six, this is the rock uh, 16 and 1. Desire not the multitude of unprofitable children. Right, it's a desire Ooh. not the multitude of unprofitable children, man. These Ooh. are GMO babies, man. Right. Right. Desire not the multitude of unprofitable children, man. All they want to do is get on ESO technology, play video games, get on the iPad, you know, stay on Snapchat, and so on, man. man. Go ahead. Night of delight and ungodly sons. Night of delight and ungodly sons, man. What make them ungodly? Because they're not keeping the ways of Yahweh Shemosh You know, they're not following the laws and commandments of Yahweh Shemosh man. They said the whole world lies in wickedness, right? Post John 5, 19, go ahead. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them. Right, rejoice not in them. Yeah, you had the little bastard, but rejoice not in them, man. You see? Go ahead. Except the fear of the Lord be with them. Well, except the fear of the Lord be in them, man. Cause what is what, what's the beginning of knowledge? Fear of the Lord is most shot. Proverbs one and seven, right? What's the first step to be accepted of the Lord? Fear. Fear. So we that again. Huh? This is Sirach sixteen and two. Though they may multiply, rejoice not in them. Except the fear of the Lord be with them. Well, except right. the fear of the Lord be with them, man. That's real. These kids don't fear the Lord, man, because the, because the society don't teach them to fear the Lord, man. Your, the two thugs, these niggas, the nigga woman parents don't teach them to fear the Lord, man. You got women blowing uh, hot, what, what does she call hot boxing on shotgun smoke in their in they children's oh, mouth, man. You know? They're doing that shit. Or they getting high upon the kids, or getting high with their kids, passing the blunt. Man, you see? So don't, these, these women, these, these parents, they ain't teaching their kids to feel the Lord, man. Two so, old, so, man. So don't delight in them, man. No fuck having kids in this society, man. We're going to have kids, a, 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 a great amount of them in the kingdom of heaven, man. A lot. A lot of children, man. We got to bring two thirds back, right? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. If, I, if Go ahead. I may add too, man, blessings unto brother's kids in this truth, man. Oh, yeah. Right. Because, man, these kids, these two thirds, man, they're going to be a, a snare unto these parents in that day, man. When your kid, real feminine, back touching his ribs, man, Ooh. and looking crazy with the puppy eyes telling you, Daddy, take the chip. You know, more uh, the uh, majority uh, of these kids, man, going to be, man, you uh, people's downfall in that day, man. Hey, it's like, oh, uh, oh. Uh, Eve and Esau. Y'all, see all these damn things. Eve and Esau, man. man. That's the something, man. Just like Sam and D. Boy, you that get stuck in those days. Ooh, you gonna be like that again, man. Nothing new on the sun. Like you parents, you gonna be in your little kid, man. man. Your little child gonna be a, a, a hot dog in that day, or a, a, a piece of drum leg in that day, yeah. man. With your stomach touching your back. You know how you watch animation, that like Tom and Jerry? Yeah, yeah. Nigga ate all day, he just looking at him. Uh -huh. Oh, this is steak right there. Man. <laughs> Turkey leg. Oh, yeah. Now let me finish though. Oh, come on, come on. I get it. All right, this is Ciroc 16 and 3. Trust not thou in their life. Well, trust not thou in thy life. Neither respect their multitude. Neither respect their multitude, man. Your little child want to be a, a little mo, a little ham mo. Want to be like ham or some shit, man. For one that is just is better than a thousand. One that is just is better than a thousand. Ultimately, that's, that's the elect. That's the elect. One that is just is better than a thousand, man. Yeah. Go ahead. 
and better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. Read that part again, the yeah, last part. Read that nice and slow, man. <laughs> yeah. And better it is to die without children. Better it is to die without children, man. I have kids in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Cause I know in the kingdom of heaven, my child go feel your high by Shimon Shah. Yeah. My child go walk in the ways of the Abba Shimon Shah, man. Mm -hmm. And I can take care of him, I can cherish him, man. Yep. Get somebody to come to five and seven, too. Go ahead. Then to have them that are ungodly. Right, then to have them that are ungodly, man. You bring up children in this world, you gotta worry about is this nigga gonna be a mo? <laughs> or this nigga, or, or my daughter gonna be a, a, a dyke? Or a lesbian? You know what I mean? <laughs> or, yeah, Lebanon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 or, Lebanese. Or, Lebanese. Or, Lebanese. Yeah. Or, or my child gonna you know, be a, a, a totally bug out nigga on crack? You know? Strong out on drugs? Yeah. Or, or, or no, go to jail? You know? So better it is to die without children, man. We get children to keep them heaven, man. You see? You got it? So I told five seconds. This Sirach 25 and 7. Mm -hmm. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. Yeah. And the tip I will utter with my tongue. Yeah. A man that have joy of his children. Wait, a man that have joy of his children. You people don't have joy of your children, man. Let your children say he wanna change the plumber. You tell him Ooh. no. He take that shit right to his school teacher, and school teachers take it to the boy, and woo to woo DSS all in your business, man. Mm -hmm. man. You see? Like so you don't have to draw your, ki your kids, man. Come on, man. That's why we need the kingdom of heaven, man. And he that living to see the fall of his enemy. Wait, he that living to see the fall of his enemy. And that's the time we come into now, man. To see the downfall of our enemies, man. This, this society, man. End of this shit. This society ain't, ain't, ain't made for it. It's like, man. It ain't for us. Hey, like that you know? dude, hey, like if I may add, uh, like that dude, man, that was crying on uh, the other corrupt side of the page. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He was just crying, talking about some man, why I gotta do this, man? I'm in the bathroom crying with, you know, Panic, tears. Panic attacks. Man, having panic attacks. And then I, I watched the Pastor Gabar video on it. He said, man, hey, we got to count it blessed if we got this comforter, man. Why? All right. Because, man, it's people. Yeah, but it's, it's people, man, that's out there, man, finna bug out in this day, man. True. All right? Because they ain't put their trust in the Lord. They neglect the truth. So therefore, prayer this time shall come. Yep. All right? They should be in pitiful case. Why? Right. Because they load the law while they yet had liberty. Exactly, man. Go ahead, Tamar. Uh, I'm gonna get this. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Wait, he will not depart from it, man. Because one thing about a child, he mimics you. That's why the Lord said, be like uh, unto children, be unto babes. Be a, uh, like a newborn uh, babe. But Esau know that a child mimic what he sees on television. Yeah, yeah. Now Esau coming with this new movie on um, Buzz, uh, what the Buzz Lightyear? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. now what he put in that movie? So, 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 a, okay. so alphabet uh, soup shit in there, man. Yeah. You know, kids watch. That's a kid movie, man. Why he put that in there for? You see? We Disney Channel, man. Disney Channel, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, man. Man, so better this is, man, not to have it, man. You want know, kids? Hey, heaven in the kingdom of heaven, man. What need a uh, what's a corruption uh, come? You know? Go ahead. All right. This is Second Ezra. This is what you call for uh, four and thirty-seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come. On. This is Second Ezra, chapter four and verse thirty-seven. By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times, and he doeth not move nor stare them. Until the said measure be fulfilled. Until the said measure um, be fulfilled. Get on Job 14 and 5. You know? Because prophecy, hey, prophecy got to play out, man. We hasten to the uh, second coming of our Lord, but hey, Lord is long suffering, man. So we, we on the most high time. Until the said message be fulfilled, man. Until the Lord call it, it, it quits. Yeah. You know? Okay, now it's time. Go go down there and, and get him. Go get to LA. Destroy Babylon now. You know, so we got when to prophecy play out, man. We we, we, come, hey, we in the end of this, man. It's on a film on prophecy level. We seen that. Jake the trouble, the hour of temptation, World War Three, the final hour. What our Lord 
track in the skies. Yep. You see? This is Job, chapter 14. And also destroy this place, man. Verse. This is Job, chapter 14, and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And they have appointed his bounds. Who is his? Who is he? Esau eat him. Yep. Going back to Revelation, uh, the 20th chapter, he should be loose for a little season. And guess what? We in that little season now. We in Esau rulership now. This is just a little season, man. Getting on uh, Jeremiah 8, uh, 22. Cause we in that little season now, man. That's why going on to First Corinthians seven chapter say, brother, remember that the time is short. What the fair for it? But it said, what the time is short. Esau know the time is short. Cause he better come down having great wealth. Yeah. So we in that little season now, and that balance going to what time? A, a limit. The same to the same message be fulfilled. You know? Cause hey, Esau, you're not gonna go over one minute. Not a night of a fucking second over. E. You know? If it's done, it's done. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> well, Jeremiah 8 and 20. Okay. We're not saying. Yeah, yeah, that's it. This is Jeremiah 8 and 20. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Right. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. What? Uh, come on, man. Hey, the harvest passed now. Yeah. That's a season. Winter passed. That's a season. Yeah. Spring passed. That's a season. Yeah. We coming to summer now. Yeah. Lord, when really we can be saved, you know, the end of this summer. The end of this year, but guess what it said? We are not saved. Ain't nobody saved yet, man. All these different seasons, after seasons, after seasons, we are still not saved, man. What it say? Give me the limitations. Uh, four. What it say? Uh, what it say? Seven. Uh, get filled, acquire, find help. You understand? It's limitations four and seventeen. As for us, our yeah, eyes man. as yet failed for our vain help. What? In our watching, we have watched for a oh, nation man. that could not save us. We did right. again. I oh, was man. This is Limitations 4 and 17. What? As for what? us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. What's your vain help? You want to go out and vote? No, See, a lot of you Negroes, Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, you thought Sleepy Joe was the answer. You thought voting for a president was the way out. You got to vote, brother. A uh, change going to come. Look at Obama. What did Obama do for y'all? If anything, he did more for the most. Yes, you see? Yep. That's, that's a vain help. Look, you got Sleepy Joe who came and fucking get off a bicycle, man. He following the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What's it? Also, he fell down the... He, plane, yeah. he fell, yeah, he fell up going up the plane, didn't it? Yeah, going to no, no. Oh, this thing is just constantly falling, man. <laughs> he out there 30, uh, on 31 to 1. Start the 1 on that jump, man. Go ahead. It's a Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. Right, because these presidents, these niggas, they, they were never meant to save you. They said no man should buy thee, no man should redeem you, man. No man is going to deliver you out of the situation you are in, man. Until the Lord come back and freed us from, uh, from his curse, man. That's right. You know? Go ahead. And now watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Right, a nation that could not save your ass, man. You thought Esau going to save you? We could get you on uh, um, uh, syphilis, man. chicken pox, and so on, man. Yeah. You think Moab, the so-called Chinese, going to save you? Yeah. He don't even like your ass, man. He talk shit, you know, to the women. It's not just to the women, to us in general, man. Mm -hmm. e uh, Elon? Come on, man. These nations don't care for us, man. This is Psalms the 83rd chapter, man. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Uh, help uh, 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 for our affliction? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. These nations were never meant to save us, man. Go ahead. It said yeah, the they hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. One thing about a hunter, what did he do? What what, what did he hunt for? He hunt to kill. Yeah, right. They don't pray. They hunt our steps. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And we cannot go in our streets or in our end is near. Our days are fulfilled by our end is come. Right. <laughs> and guess what? The end is near. You see? The martial law comes, the military checkpoints come. Unless you be outside with uh, past curfew. 
gonna be hunting your ass down, man. 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 Let's start the one. This is Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 1. Go oh, to them that go down to Egypt for help. Right. This, they say, uh, they say, woe. Woe means destruction. Destruction. Woe means destruction and death, man. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Yes, we in spiritually Egypt now. We can't just go, hey, do the one uh, 2 and 8, 6 to 8. No. You know, no. but also get Revelation 11 and 8. Okay. You know, because this is spiritually Egypt now. Because Egypt represents what? Bondage. If you gotta pay for water, you get you a fucking bondage, man. Here that the whole earth is made out of, uh, you got the percentage. 70, 70 some percent of water, but we gotta pay for it. You know? Lord make it rain freely. We gotta pay for water. We can't collect the rain water. You know? If you gotta pay for water, hey, you in bondage, man. You got some security number, you in bondage. Stop paying your bills. You, you just cram yourself not a slave, man. I'm free. I ain't a slave. Stop, stop paying for, stop paying uh, for the light bill. Uh -huh. You got a driver license? Through. Don't we know it then? Through. This Revelation's eleven and eight. Their dead bodies shall lie in the street of their great city. What's that great city? Babylon the Great, America. Make it middle great again, right? Go ahead. Which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Right, with it spiritually. Called Sodom in Egypt. There's a lot of Sodomites out here, man. We in Pride Month. So there's a lot of Sodomites out here, man. Man. And that's why the Lord destroys Sodom, man. It will set for example on what things not to do. I don't know what the, I don't know what this is behind the camera right here. Right, right, right. Hey, if I if I may it's add, man. Yeah. Hey, if I may add, I seen a post on Instagram. They said, man, hey, this whole June. Notice that it been hot for some reason. And one of the dudes, they was like, man, that because the Lord finna cook up something. And he was a, just a Jake in the world. He yeah. said the Lord cooking up for something for y'all last this Pride Month. Yeah. You know, cause it, it lately been hot. Like June been a hot month. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Man, hey, and that's right, and right. the reason why it's hot, man, because the spirit of pride is everywhere, man. Yeah. All right, it's heavy. People are pride for no reason. Like the brother said, man, y'all one check away from being thrown out. All right, your kids don't love you. Your woman, she she treats you like a side dude, man. All right, your grandma feeding you pork. Everything ain't going according to the plan, Jake, because you never had one, man. The only plan that we have is to get to the kingdom, man. No, 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 one more. Where also our Lord was crucified. Wait, why also our Lord was crucified, man? Our Lord been crossed out to today. Our people don't know the true name of the Lord. Let's not take his name Jesus or let's say what he looked like that's the matter. But it's evident what I look like, uh, uh, what he looked like in the scriptures, man. If it didn't matter why he put it, what he looked like in the scriptures. And watch your back, God. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going right. back. Y'all yeah, go stay in the heat. I'm going to head on down here to the house. Now, we don't got a car going on YouTube, though. This is, this is Isaiah. Chapter 31, verse 1. Uh -huh. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Wait, we just broke down Egypt. Huh. Which is what? Uh, the Monday uh, America, man. We were brought over here in, uh, into America for our disobedience. You know? Go ahead. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Mm. Yeah, because our people still trust in the military, man. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. And the horsemen. Because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Hey, that's our people. Our Lord been crossed out. They don't look to the Holy One of Israel. The true, uh, the true uh, God, the true name of the Bible, you have a shot, man. Uh -huh. he, you see? Go ahead. Neither seek the Lord. Wait, our people don't seek the Lord. Because they, they've been brought up in plantation Christianity, man. Hey, Christianity tell you you can do whatever you want throughout the week. Just come some Sunday and pay your tithes. And you can start back smoking a, uh, a cigarette. <laughs> you can start back being a slut. You, can, you know, what the woo. You start back uh, smoking a blunt, however it may be. That's, the, that's what the Christian church tell you what to do. You can eat the pork chop. You get headlines. Uh -huh. and, and so on, man. Go ahead. Yeah, he also is wise and will bring evil. You going before? No, that's two. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 2. Yeah, he also is wise 
it will bring evil and will not call back his words, mm. but will arise against the house of the evildoers <laughs> and against the help of them that work iniquity. Right. Okay, what's that? Uh, hands on the hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. So if you ain't leave with this beast system, you're going you're gonna to be destroyed, man. So Say. This shit going to be destroyed anyway, so go ahead. Going. Yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. Keep going on that. Yeah, go now the Egyptians are men. Right, the Egyptians are men. So it said, "Cursed be he that make an arm of his flesh." Mm -hmm. You thought Sleepy Joe or Sleepy Joe was gonna save you? you hey, you lied to yourself, man. You know? Go ahead. And not the Most High. And not the and not the Most High. If man can't save you, man, we can't save you, man. Is that Daniel Jones? Hey, they, they was only able to say they self. And your horse's flesh and not spirit. Uh -huh. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that help shall fall. Hey, right, the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that shall help shall fall, man. We seen the Lord stretch out his hand out, man. You mm. know, little by little, man. But guess what? He gonna, he, he, he's stretching it. Look at the plagues. Yeah. You know? Look at your people's face in anguish, man. You don't know what to do right now, man. So the Lord stretch out your hand now. Go ahead. And he that is hopeless, and he that is hopeless shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. Look, drop the Isaiah 30, 31. This ain't the same thing, but this is what I wanted. Isaiah 31, 31. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Yep. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord. Oh, woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord. Remember that. Woe to the rebellious children. Rebellious mm -hmm. going to what? Making war. Uh -huh. Who the children, the Israelites. So our people making war with the Most High. How they make making war? Because they're not being obedient to the law of commandments. Go ahead. They take counsel, but not of me. Right, you take counsel of East. Your daddy Esau, man. Especially our women, because Esau gave you um, women rights, feminism movement, and so on, man. So want to a lot of you women out here, man. Go ahead. And they're covering with coverings, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Right, because our people constantly add sin to sin. Right, get that scripture you know, without scripture, add sin to sin. No, I won't. But go ahead. They walk and go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Uh -huh. And to trust Who in the Who the Monday Pharaoh? Sleepy Joe. You see? But constantly Sleepy Joe telling you, <laughs> Sleepy Joe told you, uh, it's going to be food shortages. Prepare. Before he's um, doing his campaign with Trump and shit, he said it's going to be a dog winter. Yep. Hey, I, I believe a dog winter going to come this year, man. He all went to my rolling blackouts. Uh, 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 Black Summer. Yep. Hey, that's on Netflix, Netflix. right? Ooh, Black yep. Summer. Hello yep. with the zombie yep. apocalypse. Yep. You talking about rolling blackouts this summer? Shit. Yeah. Well, uh, blackout, you don't got no electricity. Right. It, it is hot as hell now. You yep. see? Food gonna spoil. Food spoiling. Hey, they, you catching heat strokes? Yeah. A lot of people want that for heat strokes, man. True. And they telling Australia to cut off all their lights mm -hmm. so that way they can prevent it from being a blackout, man. Yeah. Other countries are already going through it, man. I, but think, I think they said that too in, in West yeah. Texas, man. Yeah. And Ohio. Oh, yeah, in yep. Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. 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 In the summertime, yeah, it, it's hot right. as hell. Yeah. It's saying yeah. 9 degrees, but it feel like 105. What if, it's, what if it's 100 degrees? Well, I wonder what it's going to feel like then. Yeah, that's <laughs> going to come in in August. They say the dog days is the hottest. Yeah, in yeah. August. Yeah. Yeah. Through. This is Isaiah 30 and 2. They walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Why y'all people trusting this system, man? You know, they gave you the stimulus money. When they ain't doing that now, here it is, everything going on. Why they ain't passing on packages now? Over with. It's over with, man. Over. Too busy funding that war and giving it to Iran. Wait, wait, right? here it is. 100 million dollars. Man, 900 billion dollars going to Ukraine. Yeah. What about you people? What about what about the, uh, the American citizens? He said, I don't care Ooh. about you niggas, man. Ooh. Hey, I did brutal, but he'll rather help out other countries before he help out you citizens yeah. in America. Yeah. Hey, they really show you the hatred he had for 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 every, he don't really man. Hey, if he didn't do even unto himself, hey, what good would he do unto you? 
Who would pity a charmer who was bitten by the serpent, man? Go ahead. It say uh, verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right, the strength of Pharaoh gonna be your shame, man. We seeing that now. People wish, man, we need to get this nigga out of the office, man. Yeah. I be like, you voted for him, dude. He was like, man, no, oh, man, no, fuck no, that, you know, they don't want to talk about that. Yeah. But you voted this nigga, you know? Jason, they need daddy Trump. <laughs> they want Trump to come they back, man. They, they, they want daddy Trump to come back. They, they want everybody to come back except the Lord. Yeah. That's that's the mindset of our people. Yeah. They want Trump back in the office, but not, but not the Lord to come back. Yeah. Come on, man, go ahead. The trust and shadow of Egypt, your confusion, and for his princes were at zone, and his ambassadors came to hide. Right. That's it. Uh, you want to have something? Yep. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 8 and 50. Yep. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in a letter time shall dare to dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Because they have walked in great pride. It's good to say pride is hateful. Uh, before men and the Most High, man. You see? The Most High ain't dealing with pride for people. So you got any pride in you, you better ask the Lord to get rid of that, man. Hey, the scripture say also, it's where give me not a prideful look. You know? I know I hate a nigga that just walk with, you know, with his nose in there. What the, what the fuck wrong with you, man? A cocky ass nigga, man. What, what's up with you, man? So prideful is hateful between uh, before man and the Most High, man. They say pride wasn't made for man. What the fuck is he proud for, man? It's a way of looking for ashes proud. You know? Go ahead. This is misery in the etymology. Late 14th century. State of grievous affliction. Ooh, state of grievous, grievous affliction, afflictions. man. God, that's what comes to us. Yeah. Perilous times. Afflictions, man. Yeah. Yeah. Great afflictions. Go ahead. Condition of ex external unhappiness. Unhappiness, Ooh. man. Isaiah 24 chapter, the, the month has ceased. Unhappiness, man. Go ahead. A feeling of intense unhappiness. A feeling of intense unhappiness, man. Gonna be a lot of tension, man. Yeah. Go ahead. I got some, brother. Yeah. You got one? You got some? Yeah. Just, uh, just going back to that pride. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride go up before destruction, right. and the haughty spirit before a fall. Yep, pride go before destruction. Mm -hmm. Most ain't dealing with pride, for, uh, pride people, man. Yep. Hey, you get uh, Isaiah 8 and 22? Yep. What you got, son? Yep, I got one more to bag him up. Okay, It's a rock 10 and 12, the beginning of pride. It's when one departed from the Most High. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. Look at these rappers. Look at these celebrities. I'm self-made. Yeah. Here it is. On, on, your, on your way to come up, you're giving glory to the Lord. You praise the Lord somewhere in your sons, man. But now that you make it, you self-made. I ain't had no help. I did it on my own. Right. You see? So you depart from the Most High when that pride kick in, man. Go ahead. And his heart is turned away from his maker. Boy, your mind is turned away from your maker, man. The most high not in your thoughts, Go ahead. For pride is the beginning of sin. For pride is the beginning of sin. Pride is the beginning of death. Because that's what sin leads to, death. The wages of sin is death. You see? Go ahead. And he that have it shall pour out abomination. Why you going to pour out abomination? Go ahead. Therefore the Lord brought upon them Strange calamities. Strange calamities, man. Hey, look at calamities too. Okay. And overthrew them utterly. Man, overthrew them. Basically, what destroyed them? No utterly, man. Completely. Okay, don't care. They don't care. It's a calamity. Early 15th century. Damage. State of adversity. Wait, state of adversity. Go ahead. A great misfortune cause of misery. Ooh. A great misfortune cause of misery, man. A damage, loss, failure, disaster. It's a, it's a damage, loss, a failure, man. You feel like this coming they got uh, the rainbow. The rainbow, this something holy. Esau took the, uh, the, the covenant and made it unholy. So Esau, you're going to be the show for that, man. You know? Yeah, one more. It say damage, loss, failure, disaster, disaster. misfortune. Get Isaiah 822. Get that. Oh, my bad. 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 Oh, my b
this is, this is Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 22. And it reads, And they shall look unto the earth, and behold, trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. This is what coming to the earth. Those that look out the window should be darkened. You see? They say calamity after calamities, man, in the book of Ezekiel, man. Mischief upon mischief. Ezekiel the seventh chapter, man. You know? Go ahead, get that. This is, this is Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Yeah. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. Why, right, this is the Lord. The Lord, the Lord controls both sides, right? Isaiah 45 and 7. You know, he sent good times and bad times. He created good, he created evil. Yeah. You know? So the Lord said he's going to send evil uh, upon them, man. You know? Go ahead. Which they should not be able to escape, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Right, the Lord said he ain't gonna listen to you. Once these uh, calamities kick out, man. Right. Let the players get to rolling. Like a domino effect, man. Mm -hmm. True. You know? He, 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 the players slack uh, not, uh, not a moment, man. Ain't gonna be no pause the video game, you know, cause you losing. Yeah. Time out, you know? <laughs> Third second time out. Ain't gonna be no breaks, man. Nah, you know? Yeah. Go ahead. It's Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is now shortened that it cannot say. Right, the Lord hand not showing that he can't that he cannot sleep. Uh sing so like uh, it. Psalm, yeah, uh, 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 Psalm 37, 25. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, uh -huh. but your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Why right, say your iniquities, man? You know? Has separated yourself, man. And that's what we're telling Jake to do. Come back onto the Lord, repent, depart from evil, and do good, man. Go ahead. Your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Right, your sins, man. They said the Lord's eye appealed that he uh, he can't look on, on iniquity, man. I want to say, I have a good approach out there, I believe. What's going to fail, please? What do I want to hold that, bro? Go ahead. For your hands are defiled with blood, yep. your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have mut muttered perverseness. Yep. None calling for justice, nor any pleading for truth. They trust in vanity, speak lies, they conceive mischief, and bring forth iniquity. Yeah. You know what goes right with that? Isaiah 4 and 1. Because the Lord have a controversy with the land, because there's no truth or knowledge in there, man. Ain't no, ain't nothing being called to justice. It's like Jake wanna, here it is, when 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 you can be a mo and you know, do what you can do, ah, that's cool, as long as he don't mess with me. But when Jake uh kill Jake will kill his own brother, man. I seen Jake. Pull up to uh, Jake's house, man, and just let off some rounds, man. Let off about 50 rounds. It was about seven of them for one dude. Man. You know what I'm saying? No mercy. Hey, that's why I say your fingers are, are, are got blood on them, man. Yeah, this, um, what's the, um, damn, Hosea 4 1. Uh huh. You know? You got it. This is Sirach chapter 35 and verse 3. To depart from wickedness. Is a thing pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Read that again. This is Sirach 35 and 3. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right, to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing unto the Lord, man. Ooh. Depart from evil and do good. And how can you do good? Keeping the laws and commandments, man. You know? Go ahead. And to forsake unrighteousness is a, uh, uh, poor, poor, uh, so Proper, uh Preparation. Preparation. Right. Yep. See? So you got to depart from evil. Hey, jump to Sirach 38. You know. 38 and 10. All right. This is uh, this is Sirach 38 in verse 10. Yep. Leave off from sin and order thy hands aright. Why well, he said leave off from sin. Order thy hands are white. Go ahead. And cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. You cleanse your heart, meaning your mind. He said, wash thy heart from Jeremiah 4.14. Jeremiah 4.14. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. Wait, O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. And so we did that again. This is Sirach 35 and 10. Leave off from sin and order thy hands aright. 
and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. All wickedness. And it say hell. Yeah. It say all wickedness. So go back and read that again, doctor. This is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 14. 144, go ahead. O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. Right. That thou mayest be saved. That thou mayest be saved. So ultimately, the most I want to change. You can't come as you are. You know? He said, wash thy heart from your mind from wickedness, man. Depart from evil and do good. Leave out that old man. You know, put put, put that uh, sinful nature down, man. The flesh down and walk in the spirit. And be a new creature in your house, shot, man. Walk according to his words. They said on that? Yes, a little bit more. Go ahead. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Wait, how long should vain thoughts lodge within thee, man? How long should that nigga mentality be in you, man? You see? Go ahead. This is Luke 15 and 7. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. Wait, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. You see? The Lord said he called um, he called not the righteous, but uh, the sinners unto repentance, man. Right, right. You know, because you already righteous. I mean, what's the point of the Lord coming back to save you, man? You already saved. What's the point of the Lord coming back to save you? Deliver you. Right, right, right. Ain't no point. So he called the sick. <laughs> he called the sinners unto repentance, man. Go ahead. More than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. What need no repentance? It said, either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, do not light a candle, sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. All right, keep going. And when she had found it, she called her friends and her neighbors together saying rejoice with me for i have found the peace which i have lost likewise i say unto you there is joy in the presence of the angels of the most high over one sin of their repentance exactly over one sin of their repentance i want to say in that same in that same field but we're going to every right let me see i don't want to make it up like jewels right it's all good. Basically, you know, that, that's a bit for parable. I know yeah. when my uh, parents, when I was growing up, when my parents lose something, like some jewelry or whatever, mm -hmm. and they actually yeah. found, they called their home girl, yeah. and they both were just on the phone. Mm -hmm. So now when they got in the trip, I read, they're like, damn, that, that, that scripture came to life. Man. I'm like, damn. Just like if I lose my uh, wallet, yeah. you know? Phone. If I lose my phone, if, if, I, if I lose my card, I got my wallet, but I lost my card. Right, right. right. You see? Yeah. But I found it, I'm a car brother. Hey, wow. I just found it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's we the, rejoicing yeah. together. Yeah. And it's pretty wild, cause that's the first thing we order, man. We don't just be like, oh, okay. We just put it in the pocket. Nah, yeah, man, we say, call like y'all about to shot. Cause he's the time. reason you found it, man. Yeah. 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 You ain't found it on your own. You was sitting there looking stupid, trying to seek it. Uh -huh. Seek the damn thing. Uh -huh. But the Lord put the spirit on you, man. Hey, it's right here, brother. Right here. You go and you grab it. You like, damn, call like y'all about to shot. Yeah. Another miracle. Yeah, I've yeah. been like, man, I think I did I leave my stuff in your car. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, you remember you had it. Go, go outside and check your car. All right, bet. Damn, it's in the car the whole time. Yep. So, hey, call on my brother. Yeah. Hey, I'd be yeah. happy if I leave some over yeah. brother house, man. Hey, I'd rather for my stuff to be left with brothers, man, than to be left with Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, when I, I remember I left some man, brother had him, I'm like, damn, man. Hey, what, hey, what better place would it be? Yeah. yeah, because, you know, yeah. brothers ain't gonna steal for you. If brothers steal nah, for you, yeah. that nigga wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah straight like that. Yeah. I don't know where it's wicked. at, dog. Shit, I left some change on the little counter. Yeah. You, know, just, you know, a little change. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that yeah. woman took it. Uh, you, know, not to, you know, not to leave that shit with me. Yeah, right, right. Fuck, right. right. I mean, shit mine, ain't yeah, it? Yeah. Get my shit back. Right. You know? <laughs> Pull a fucking cord. I might want a cup of coffee or something. Go ahead, I'll let you finish the talk. Go ahead. It's Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I would judge you. O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord, Yahweh Shai, repent and turn yourself from all your from all your transgression. So iniquity, so iniquity should not be your ruin. Right, so uh, uh sin won't be your downfall, man. Yeah. Go ahead. 